Hello, chuckin' friends. It's Friday night chuckin'. Oh my goodness, peeps, where have you been all day? <laughs> I've needed serious tracking. How about you? Are you in need of serious tracking? I am totally in need of serious tracking, right? Aren't you? Oh, let's have some fun. Oops, I got things up here that, hang on. Hello. Welcome to Friday Night Chalking. I am Megan Maria. I am your independent chalk couture designer. Welcome to Friday Night Chalking. I just want to make sure I'm in the right place. Oh, I am. Okay, good. Welcome, everybody. I hope you are all good. Good, good, good. I just finished my uh, Facebook party. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. So much fun. So if you guys want free stuff, I gotta tell you, a Facebook party is the way to go. <laughs> totally the way to go. We had so much fun. Oh my gosh, we had a blast. Very fun group of women. So, um, I'm totally digressing here, right? I'm still in, in Facebook party world. So, Facebook parties are fun because you don't really have to do anything. You just kind of invite your friends and I hang out, I, I do the rest. And it's a lot of fun. And then you get free stuff. So if anybody wants a Facebook party, message me. Because I've done a few now, so I, I've got it down now. I, I figured it out, I got a handle. Welcome, welcome. Happy Friday night. Hello, Linda. Linda and Linda. Oh, no. I hear I was going to go Linda, Linda and Linda squared, and so far I only see Linda, Linda. Hello, Miss Cheryl. Cheryl, I'm doing this one with you in mind. I was thinking about you today, and I was thinking this transfer, and anytime it's a wedding transfer, Cheryl, I think of you. I don't know why. <gasps> and did you see, Cheryl, boho flowers? I hope you got boho flowers. So for those of you who are familiar, the transfer vault opened today. It opened at 9 o'clock this morning, Mountain Time, and they released three transfers from the transfer vault. So they took, brought back three retired transfers that are highly sought after transfers. And the three they brought back, one of them is boho flowers, which are the most brilliantly gorgeous florals, my kind of florals, because they're all put together. <laughs> They're not pieces of flowers. They're floral sprays that are all put together. They're gorgeous. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. And it it was retired before I became a designer, so I never had the opportunity to own this transfer. Well, I bought one today. Let me tell you. Of the three transfers, one is Boho Flowers, which is an E-size, but it's worth every single penny. And it's very wedding-related. Um, because. Obviously, florals are wedding, but it's just florals. There's no sentiments. So you, one of them makes a circle, so you can put sentiments in the middle. There's just these beautiful sprays of flowers. So there's boho flowers. There's lemonade, which is uh, lots of lemons. It says freshly squeezed, squeeze the day. Um, that's a C. That no. That's the D size transfer and then the the C size transfer already sold out it was an anchor um, which really surprised me that was not the one I thought was gonna sell out right away I thought boho flowers would sell out soon they've already said that they ex are expecting them to be sold out by tomorrow so if you want them you go to the www.chuckcouture.com slash making Maria under the specials and deals you can see them but they're not gonna this do them now because <laughs> they won't be here and they will never come back again. Once they come out of the vault, they get one try out of the vault. I did buy boho flowers though and I may have bought a few extra ones just in case somebody didn't get one. <laughs> because I'm telling you, once you see it, you're going to want to own it. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm totally rambling. Hello, Miss Terry from Texas. There's Linda Squared. Hello, Lisa from Texas. 99 days before the wedding, Cheryl? Holy cow, that went so fast. Oh my goodness, hello, Miss Patricia Simpson. Oh my goodness, we don't usually get you live. Oh, we're going to have to be super fancy tonight. Patricia is here. Hello, Verge. Hello, hello, everybody. All right, so, oh, you can't see it. I should probably turn my cameras on. Tonight, we are doing It Was Always You. Don't we all feel that way about our significant others? 24 hours a day, seven days a week, especially when we're safer at home with them all day. It was always you. I know I feel that way every moment of every day with my amazingly wonderful husband. I'm sure you do too. <sighs> Young love, right? 
<laughs> then they get wise. <laughs> hello, Kristen. Hello, Tiffany. Tiffany, I have not forgotten about you. I just haven't gotten a time to... My husband came home from work early today. I haven't had a chance yet. I did mail it, though. It's on its way to you. I just have to send you the invoice. I know, Cheryl, right? 99 days. Wow. That wedding is creeping up way too fast. Okay, so I am totally ahead of myself tonight because I'm all flustered. I'm making Maria. Chocotour is an amazing company. Oh, my goodness. Everybody, let me tell you, it's amazing. We make these adhesive silk screen transfers that are reusable. You can use them over and over and over and over and over and over again. Um, we make Chalkology paste, couture ink, surfaces. We've got the good china out tonight. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This sentiment needs good china, don't you think? We brought the Aiden chalkboard out, you know, because really our men deserve the good china, don't they? <laughs> because it was always them. I especially am enjoying all of Linda's crying, laughing faces. <laughs> oh, Linda, Linda, you cracked me up. All right, so we got the good china out. This is our aid in chalkboard. Because really right about now, don't we need a little something extra special? I said to my husband tonight, I'm tired of eating at home. I, and I love to cook. But I'm like, I feel like we're eating the same stuff over and over and over again. The snacks are the same, the treats are the same. I'm like, did I, am I really a one trick pony? I need more variety. I, Terry, you posted that pork chop recipe. We tried the pork chop recipe. Oh my gosh, I'm like to the point of, I gotta come up with some new stuff. I gotta get creative and get outside of the box. So I took my beautiful adhesive silk screen transfer out of its fun little plastic container and I'm going to flip it over and on the back I am going to write the name of it. It was always you. Always you. So somebody is saying, oh this is not, hang on, my comments up here are from the Facebook party. <laughs> there we go. Now I can get you guys up there. Okay, so I take my adhesive silk screen transfer and I carefully remove its backer sheet. This is a C size transfer, super sticky. We don't want the back to stick to itself, which is exactly what Maria will do. Woo! Take our backer sheet, set it aside, because when I'm all done, I'm gonna rinse it off. I'm gonna put it right back on that backer sheet and that is how I am going to store it. Now. This is the good china. Where's my big towel? The good china is like putting it on glass. So you need to fuzz your transfer. And it's a big transfer, so pull out the bath towel. Your fuzzing towel will, no, don't do that. Your fuzzing towel will work. See, told you, told you I was gonna do this. Sometimes I think I'm psychic. Um, your fuzzing towel will work, but it's easier with a bath towel just cause it's bigger. So you want to make your transfer not as sticky. And you make it not as sticky by sticking it to something that has lint on it. And you stick it a few times. Because then it's gonna, then my transfer is gonna pick up the lint and it's gonna make it not as sticky. So it's not going to have to work as hard to get pulled off of my surface. The Aiden chalkboard is a porcelain magnetic it's a porcelain coated steel i'm saying that wrong porcelain coated steel magnetic which is what makes it magnetic so this is a very fun chalkboard as far as variety goes hello cassidy hello kathy with the k we're having lots of fun tonight it was always you we're talking about husbands and how it was always them right and still is every day after all of those years of marriage, right? We just love them so, especially during quarantine time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. So I take my transfer. Hey, Kathy Moon. And I flip her over. This makes a very nice wedding gift, although you wouldn't give it, I suppose you wouldn't make this as a wedding gift. No, maybe, maybe. Depends on how well you know the white bride and groom. <laughs> You wouldn't want to, if it was an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend, you wouldn't want to give it to them. <laughs> That'd be a bad wedding gift, right? That'd maybe. 
the bride or groom might not appreciate it then. <laughs> Ooh, I am wound up tonight. All right, so I'm placing my transfer, making sure I'm straight, and I'm smooshing out my air, just making sure that I don't have any air bubbles. Am I straight is the big question. Ah, not bad for Maria. <laughs> Okay, so we smooth out all of our air. We're gonna do this in some fun pinks and greens and white, just because that seems very like springy wedding to me, right? I, this is just wedding gift, anniversary gift for those of you who have like a significant miles, milestone wedding, that's the word, or anniversary, that's what I'm looking for. Um, this would be a fun one. For that so we're gonna use spring zing and white and on our flowers I want to mix together peony and couture coral so that there's just a little bit of variation in the pink they're not all just a solid color so we're gonna do coral and peony together so it'll be a subtle difference because they are very close in color to each other once you mix them together especially. Um, we've mixed these guys together before. This guy is dry. Look how dry he is. Oh, he needs a drink bad. So we're going to give him a little bit of water. We just used him. I brought in a space heater in here trying to warm myself up. I think it's drying out my chalks. So I'm just stirring it up. I want to get him working. So I'm going to add a little more water. He's, he is hard. So what you do when your trucks get, you know, unhappy because they've not had a drink is you can add a small, just one spray of water. You can put them in the microwave for five seconds. Otherwise you melt your jar. <laughs> hint, hint. I'm winking at one of you. You know who I'm winking at. You melt your jar. Don't melt your jar. Um, you can use an immersion blender as well to get rid of bumps if you have any bumps. But the other thing that I found, I ordered, I told you I was ordering one. I ordered a milk frother from Amazon. It's battery powered. Um, you can use this. It's, it's not meant to go through something thick. So you kind of got to play with it to get it to go and don't put it in, turn it on and lift it up like I did. I had junk everywhere. It was a good thing I wasn't live. Needless to say, we won't be using this live because I mean, I literally, my husband was dying. Oh my God. He was laughing at me. So, I mean, I had chalk literally from that corner of the room all across. <laughs> it was very funny. You know, I just, I'm crazy. Y'all know, I'm crazy. All right, so we're gonna do coral, peony, green, and white. Our words are gonna be white, and we're just gonna do our fun little sprigs of flowers. So let's start with our words, because they'll be quick and easy, and we can even use the big boy. Oh, love the big boy. Don't you love the big boy? Love the big boy. Oh, Linda. Hmm. Linda has a hmm face. I think that's what that is far away. I think so. Hello, Desiree. Welcome to our chalking party. I have stuff for you, Desiree. You need to come pick it up. And I, one of us a Mother's Day gift, I'm thinking, so we should probably come pick it up soon. Okay, so I'm adding my chalk. I could mail them too, Desiree. If you'd rather I mail them, you just gotta let me know. The post office lady is, is laughing at me. She's like, you're in here every day. I'm like, I know. I'm mailing stuff every day, which is fun. I've gotten to know my post office lady. So I'm just covering up all the parts I want white, making sure I cover up all of my silk screen. The big boy makes this, oops, very easy to do. Super quick. You can totally do it with a smaller squeegee. It just goes a lot faster with the big boy. And I like the big boy. What I like about him is he's at the right angle. So he gets all the excess off without a ton of pressure or a lot of work. 
Um, he doesn't leave all that excess paste on. It puts the, the squeegee at the right angle for you right away. So you don't, if you've ever had pressure issues with, you know, squeegeeing, it fixes it. Okay, so I'm just pulling out back my transfer. Okay, pulling back my transfer so that my chalk paste doesn't dry. We're pasting and peeling. Now I'm just gonna smoosh down my flowers again in case I unsealed them when I was doing that. And now we can take a minute and get fancy with our flowers. So how was everybody's week? I'm gonna take my squeegee and wipe it off right away. Uh, chalk paste is much easier to clean off of your squeegees when your squeegees are wet with ink or chalk instead of when they're dry. I can close up my white because we're all done with white. I do put a, a thin layer of water, just a spray with my spray bottle over my chalks before I close them up. It helps with the drying out. Especially if you're not gonna use your chalks. So if you have chalks that you've used but then you haven't used for a while, you do need to go in, they do require a little bit of maintenance. You gotta go in, you gotta stir them, add water if they need be. You can't leave them for months on end and not touch them, they will dry up. If you open up your chalk paste and it's all dried up, what you do is, a small amount of water in it, leave it overnight, then put it in the microwave for five seconds, five seconds, and stir. That's really when an immersion blender would be nice. Um, but they will reconstitute, you just have to work them. And sometimes you gotta do it a couple times to get it, it depends on how dried out it is. Same thing with paste packets. If you open up your paste packet and it seems like you're, like let's say your chalk comes out in a clump instead of a, like a runny paste, same thing, put it on your little tray, your little white tray or a plate, spray it, you know, put it on your little tray, the clump, little bit of water, stir it up, it'll be fine. It will reconstitute. So we're gonna make our little leaves green and then we're gonna just kinda go and do some fun things with our fun little flowers. So I'm going to use our multi-purpose tool because I'm gonna do a little bit of cutting in with our green. So I'm just gonna start. I take This works really well. Works just like a pencil. It gives me complete control. I can put the colors where I wanna put the colors and not necessarily where I don't. Um, it's just a very nice way to get in. Except for these little tiny bud things, I, I don't, it's too big. That's where I move to. I have little itty bitty squeegees that are bigger squeegees that I cut up. Because the base of these itty bitty teeny flowers would be green. Right? I think. And I'm going to do the same thing. Because why should I worry, right? Just lift it up. And I'm going to, Virginia's asking me a question. Did you get the post I sent to help you with fixing your daughter's hair? I think you sent it, did you send it to me as a message, Verge? Like, I think you sent it to me as a message. I. You did send it to me? I have not looked at it yet. Yes, you did. My daughter... As you all know, burned her face. Well, maybe you don't all know, but those of you who watch me regularly know my daughter burned her face um, trying to curl her hair because her mother doesn't know anything about hair and the poor girl just wants beautiful, wavy, she's got stick straight hair, super baby fine stick straight hair and she wants, of course, we all want the kind of hair we don't have, so she wants these big beachy waves and she was trying to do it and she burned the heck out of her face with the curling iron. Oh, it was, it's almost, it's healing though. So she's better. She's glad she doesn't have to go to school <laughs> with it. But uh, she did figure it out because she did actually then go back to, she wasn't afraid, too afraid of the curling iron. So she did go back to try it again. But I feel sorry for the kid. She got me as a mom. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do the lighter, the darker would be the inside, right? And it would get lighter as it goes out. Would it be darker on the inside of the flower or on the outside of the flower? I'm not sure. I think it would be darker on the inside and it would get lighter as it came out, right? Yeah, because it would be more concentrated. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of paste. Not like that, but that's what I ended up doing. Kind of in the middle. I'm going to just be, you know, kind of purposeful with where I put dark out inside. Oh, whew. good thing, Cheryl. That's what I did. <laughs> that darn Facebook delay. And then I'm just going to get it. with our little fun peony color on the outside. And then just kind of mix them in together. So that they kind of blend together. That color, I can't put back in my container because we created its own color. It's gonna be very subtle, the difference here in the two colors. And these little guys I'm just going to, helps if I actually put paste on it. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing, I think. Just a little bit down on the bottom. And then do the pink on the ends. It's going to be super subtle difference. Dark on the inside, thank you, dark on the inside. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, people. So it's hard to see the color difference, but that looks in person. That looks amazing. We've outdone ourselves. You'll be able to see it better down here because it'll be bigger. So let's do the same thing. Let's start with our green. Then we can lift up our green. So we're going to do our little leaves and our stems green. The only thing I don't like about the multi-purpose tool is especially those of you who are from Wisconsin, you'll understand what I mean. It's like shoveling. You know, it leaves the lines when you make the pass with the shovel. It leaves lines. <laughs> I'm always about shoveling. I hate shoveling. But it's a necessary evil when you live in a state that has snow. And when I was a kid, we lived in a house, actually very close to where I live right now, two blocks away from where I live right now, that had a really long driveway. Oh my gosh, it was so long. And we, you know, back then especially, there was no such thing as a snowblower. <laughs> and if you had one, you know, you were nobody that I lived with. My parents would never have been able to afford such a thing. Um, so, And they had kids, you know, you shoveled. That was your job. Oh my gosh, we would shovel. Shovel, shovel, shovel. That driveway. We got our green. Voila. Put it back down. Oops. And let's get our flowers. Okay, super easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> I think that lemon transfer came out today. I cannot wait to get boho flowers. The other nice thing about boho flowers is it's one of those watercolor ones where, because it's really just the outline of the flowers, not like these guys where you put all the paste in it. So they're perfect for watercoloring. So if you loved the watercolor technique, you need to own boho flowers. So I'm just, I'm just telling you, it's going to be gone quickly. Okay, so dark on the inside. Oh, now this one, what would be the inside of this? Here, right? think well I don't know on this one we're, we're making this one up as we go I'm just getting these little ends of our little guys and then we're gonna come back in with our peony only now we can use a bigger squeegee because these flowers are big again being purposeful and where I place the paste, that makes a difference. When you uh, first go to put them together, it does make a difference. Okay. Finish these little guys off. And then same thing here. Making sure I don't have too much peony or couture coral on here before I stick it in my paste container because I don't want to contaminate. 
and just kind of swirl. I don't really want like a harsh line, which I kind of think I did on that one. Okay, squeegee all our excess off, wipe off our squeegee, pull our transfer back. Oh, okay, this is sweet. Totally sweet. Take my transfer, put it aside so I can wash it. Get rid of my very full of paste baby wipe. I need to dry this so I can show you my beautiful flowers. Oh my gosh, we scored, ladies. And gentlemen, you never know. There might be a gentleman or two. Now, springs in is one of those colors that it gets brighter as it dries. So it's going to pop off of our board here as it dries. Okay, I really like the color combination with the coral and the peony. This looks awesome! Trying to get that zing to dry so it pops for you. It's another one of those colors that's strangely satisfyingly fun to watch dry because it dries from the outside in. Okay, this is our fun little project. So see as see how that's getting brighter as it's drying. You're like look at the difference. Down here is not dry, and up here is more dry. It's still not completely dry. It's definitely uh, more dry than it was. Well, thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Terry. Cheryl, I agree. This is pretty. This is really sweet. It was always you. This would be a fun marriage proposal sign, too, but I don't know too many men that would make this for their wife. Maybe. Maybe they exist. I can tell you Mr. Brorman would never have. <laughs> but don't even get me started on the romantic proposal. <laughs> I mean, that he has never lived down that the complete lack of romance whatsoever in the proposal yeah never lived that down <laughs> but we love him anyway we will love, yes we do love him anyway oh goodness thank you for hanging out with me this is the it was always you transfer and it's on the good china this is the 12 by 18 Aiden chalkboard which is a gorgeous chalkboard oh my goodness but check out those flowers see how you can see the two-tone-ness of them see these guys down here you can totally see the difference in color variation this is a super fun super fun transfer I like the font you can make other things out of these fonts too you know, I was thinking about the sign we made last night that said, welcome to, we changed it, it was supposed to say welcome to our porch, and we changed it to welcome to our kitchen. You could also do welcome to our home with that transfer as well. I was thinking about that today. That would be a fun one to do too as well. Welcome to our home. All right, that's all I got. <laughs> Terry is laughing because Terry knows the story of the romantic, not romantic proposal <laughs> that I got. Yeah, we love him. So, anyway, we do. We knew what we were getting into. <laughs> There's no romance. <laughs> he has other great qualities. Yes, he is. As he was chopping my neighbor's tree for them today to help them out. He has other very wonderful, amazing qualities. But I'm done now because I'm rambling. Woo, rambling. That's how we know it's time to hang up. I hope you have an amazing... Oh, I haven't done my spiel. <laughs> if you can please send me out into the world... It helps me tremendously when you do that. So thank you, everybody, who pushes that button. If you're not in the VIP group, what's the holdup? It's where you want to be. That's where all the fun things happen, so you want to get in there. Um, I am currently booking Facebook parties because they're so much fun. Oh, my gosh. I had a blast on this last one. Oh, my gosh, it was so much fun. Um, and I've got them down now. So if you're interested in hosting a Facebook party, it's very easy to do. All you do is invite your friends, and I take it from there. Um, let me know. 
if you're curious at all about all the ridiculous fun I get to have as a Chuck Couture independent designer, you can comment curious and I will tell you all of the amazing ways you can use being a designer to either enjoy a discount and create beautiful things yourself or make a little extra money at it. Totally up to you how you do it, but I'd be more than happy to give you all the information. Just let me know if that's something that you're interested in. If you want to check out these products, you can go to www.chuckcouture.com slash making Maria. Oh, look, I didn't even realize I match. Huh. It's just a pink day today. That's where you can see all these amazing products. This is the Aiden chalkboard. It's 12 by 18. And the It Was Always You transfer. We used Spring Zing, Peony, and Couture Coral are our chalk paste colors. Oh, and the new club transfer. Did you see it? Oh, I forgot to post a picture. Have you guys seen the new transfer? Super cute. And I'm trying to remember what it says. Oh, darn it all. It's been such a busy day today. It's cute. I can't remember what it says. It's kind of uh, got a old fashioned -y look to me today. Love is curious. Something about that. Something like that. But I will post a picture of this month's Club Couture. Club Couture is an amazing monthly subscription service. You don't even have to think about it. Just like magic, this envelope arrives in the mail. There's no thought process. There's no going shopping. There's like, oh, I need some me time. What the heck am I going to make? No, no, no. It's already done for you. It comes in the mail. You get three paste packets and a transfer for 20 bucks like magic. It's a great club. And... They do amazing sales and discounts. Starting today is the new Club Couture sale for the month of May. If you are a club member, so this is exclusive to club members only. If you are a club member, you can go to the website, www.chalkcouture.com slash Maria, and under the last chance tab, you get 50% off all the last, any of the last chance transfers. So it's a great deal for club members. You have to be a club member to get that sale deal. Once you go to this website, you have to sign in as yourself, and that's when you'll see the price because it recognizes that you're a club member. If you just go to the website and you don't sign in, it's not going to recognize you as a club member, so you'll see the normal price. You have to sign in to see it. But it's a great deal. And did you see they totally refreshed them, so they're all different now? And some of my favorite transfers are in there, so they're retiring them. The Market Fresh Flowers one, I love that one. They're retiring that one. It's your last chance, and if you're a club member, you get them for half off, and they're only for a while they're there. So again, it's when they're gone, they're gone. I'm rambling. I hope you have an amazing Saturday, and I will be back at you on Sunday. Uh, Saturday night's the only night I don't do a video, so you will not see me tomorrow night, but you will see me on Sunday. So have a great weekend, and I'll be back at you. Let me know if you have any questions or you need anything over the weekend. Thanks, guys.